Coach Pete Carroll, thank you for calling in. What's up, Rich? Hey, where are you? I am in the Rich Eisen Hotel right across the street from the stadium that they built for me uh -huh. here. So that's where I am. Uh -huh. There you go. We've got a nice we've got nice accommodations for you if you want to stop by after the game. It's right across the street. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I hope to be really busy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know you hope to be really busy. So what has it been like the second time around for you, Coach? How is it different this time as opposed to last year? Uh, it, it, Rich, it isn't that much different. Um, you know, I, I think it's it's more of the really good stuff. You know, this is really, really a good time for everybody. It's uh, so much fun and exciting, and uh, the you know the stage is so so big, and it, it it just makes for such a big event. It's just it's just great fun. I'm really proud to be representing and you know bringing the team back and representing the Northwest and all. I mean, they're they're having a blast with us. Is there any? Um... I don't know if it's, could there be any familiarity that helps out that the fact that you play in the stadium, you're playing it every year and you know everything about, you know, you know, you, you know, the locker rooms, you know, the, the facility, does that help at all? Or? Well, it, there's a, a bit of comfort for the guys knowing where we're going. You know, that that's uh, kind of what it feels like. There is a little bit of that. I don't think that gives you an edge in any way. It's, uh, but it is comfortable. It feels like it's more of a home site than going, you know, going across the country and playing. Pete Carroll, Seahawks head coach, uh, is here with me here on the Rich Eisen Show. On the cover of Sports Illustrated this week, Coach, is uh, your uh, defensive secondary, the Legion of Boom. And an interesting quote from Richard Sherman saying, this organization let me develop my game and a public persona through trial and error. Uh, what do you think of when you hear that, Coach, in terms of your mentality and your approach with dealing with your players? Well, first, I think it's a good, honest uh, assessment by by Richard that it was trial and error. There, there was both, and, and uh, uh, he's learned a tremendous amount, as we all have. And, and it's been a, uh, it was, it's been exciting going through this with Richard. He's an extraordinary person and uh, an excellent player as well. But he's, he's uh, to, to watch him grow and, and take on the challenges of trying to climb, and and then now you know reaching a, a height in, in his game, and then the growth that's come to that. Uh, that realization as well. He's had a fantastic season. He's prepared and practiced just impeccably throughout. Been just as serious as he could to bring his best, which has just been a delight. You know, and sometimes it isn't like that. And so, uh, you know, I, I'm 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 proud too, Rich, that our guys do understand that 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 we think highly of them as individuals, and we we care about these guys, and we do. Uh, you know, we we say that we you know we're kind of celebrating their individuality and, and their uniqueness, um, while they also learn how how to comply with the team and with the structure that is very demanding that they are part of and and uh but i think that mix is, is interesting i'm glad that, that they recognize it and they appreciate it and i think it gives our guys the chance to be the best they can possibly be and that's what we're after now it's coach coach you've got your media availability coming up what you know all of us in the media are looking to hear from marshawn lynch for whatever reason uh, do you know what 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 his plan is going to be for this media day session is he going to be on a podium is he going to uh, need he's to be coming. Yeah, he's coming. He's oh. going to be there. Podium okay. six. He'll be there. Podium six. Um, yeah, and he's going. He's going to be there. So, um, you know, it'll 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 be interesting for sure. <laughs> okay. And usually, coaches share the same podium. Do you expect Bill Belichick to leave something behind for you? Maybe like a note, it's a little token of friendship or something, Coach. Uh, I'll look. I'll, I'm going to look for some scripts and see if he left anything behind for practice, or I guess. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. He, he, no I don't expect <laughs> to see anything. No. <laughs> I've got Rod Woodson, Hall of Famer, here to my left, who I think wants to ask you a question. Go for it, Rod. What's up, Rod? Hey, Coach, how are you? Hey, Coach, I want to really just get you prepared for some of the uh, questions that might be asked to you that has no bearing on the game whatsoever. <laughs> what like is your kind of favorite childhood stuffed animal? <laughs> really? Yeah, I had some uh, some kind of Snoopy dog that, that, uh, <laughs> that no squeaked. I used to sleep with it, I think, when I was really small. Is that right? So you went peanuts. You're going peanuts Snoopy on it. dog. I don't know. But yeah, it didn't really look like that. It was a little bit different, but that's kind of how I remember it. I cannot believe this man coaches the Legion of Boom, Ron Woodson, Hall of Fame defensive back, and you get a chance to speak to him before his media availability, and you go, well, what's he's your gonna, favorite he's stuff He's going to get some very useless questions. <laughs> so it's, Just why like not that start one. now? <laughs> we're getting you ready for just it. Just getting coach. you ready. Just getting you prepared. Yeah, we're getting you ready for it. So let me just ask you this then before I, before I do let you go, Coach. Uh, what is the biggest challenge you see right now, five days out, taking on a New England Patriots team that uh, just uh, we all saw what they did to Indianapolis? What do you believe is the biggest challenge for your Seahawks team going into this game? 
Well, I, I think it's it's remaining humble. I think it's it's staying within the uh, the structure that we do and not getting caught up in all of this, you know. And, and uh, I think that's a great challenge, you know, because there's so many people patting on patting you on the back and talking about you in this way and that way, and, and all the outside influences. To, to stay within ourselves and, and to stay focused on the things that we can do to, to support one another. I, that's way more important right now. Uh, I want us to play like we're capable of playing. And if that's good enough to win, then great. If it doesn't and they're better than that, then, then you know, more power to them. So I, I want us to represent like, like we're capable. And that's we've got to stay humble and true to who we are and all that. So that's through this process of and here it is today. This is the biggest event you could ever be in for media uh, as an athlete. And, and we need to just maintain, you know, the, the same kind of clarity that we've had that's, that's given us a chance to play like we play. Well, it's got to help that the, your, the quarterback is a, an extension of that very mantra that you're throwing out there, Coach. It's got to help. He, yeah, he does do a great job. He does a great job. He's very, very uh, consistent and, and strong in, 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 in his beliefs, and he does represent us very well in, in all ways, and uh, we're very lucky to have him. Coach, thanks for calling in. I really appreciate the time uh, on this media day and five days before you you uh, take on the Patriots to try and win a second consecutive Lombardi trophy. Appreciate it, Rich. Say hey to Susie for me. Oh, you bet. I will do See that. Right. Thanks. You got the it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.